gentlemen, welcome along to another custom review from us. Well, I say another custom review, as you might be able to tell, it's a little bit different. So we're out with uh, GD Strokers, and we are getting their opinion on a New Holland uh, FR650 self-propelled forager. But as you may be able to tell, we're not uh, in a crop of grass, we're not in a crop of maize, we're all crop or anything like that. We're actually chopping willow today, so as you can imagine, this forager it's got a few modifications on it, it's a little bit bespoke, so to tell us all about it, we've got Mr. Martin Farrell here, who's, uh, who's going to run us through it, so, I mean Martin, before we dive into the forager, yeah. uh, and how different it is, I mean just tell us a little bit about yourself and GD Strawson. My name's Martin Farrell, I've been working for GD Strawson for about 19 years now. All right. My main job I came to do was willow. We, we started growing willow over 20 years ago and got up to 1500 acres originally. Right. And then used to harvest with an old sugarcane harvester converted. Yeah. And then used to process by a bespoke processing equipment we put together. And that went to EDF Energy originally. And then we started cutting with that sugarcane harvester for drags, yeah. which they then process the billets themselves. Right, because that would have chopped it, like saying billets, wouldn't it? Yeah, eight inch lens. So basically, it used to stack that up and it would dry out naturally. Right. So there's no drying costs with that system. Then when Drax actually parted company with Biomass from this country, we then started with a company called Iggerson's Paperboard Mill up at Workington. But they wanted a chip, so that's where the forage harvester came from. Right. So basically Metcalf Farms used to chop it and then we bought their second hand machine of them to do everything back in house again. Yeah. Uh, we run that for about two years, two or three years. Right. And what forage was that one? That was an FR600 New yeah. Holland with this same header we've got on today. Right. There are certain issues you do get with willow. It is a tough crop to chop. Yeah. And New Holland have been very good with us, i.e. warranty and stuff like that. Yeah. When the decision came to take, we took, to actually purchase a brand new machine just to do willow. Yeah. There was no, no rhyme or reason go anywhere else we stick with New Holland yeah and that's where the 650 comes in so the area that you cover then it's uh, it's fairly well sort of almost nationwide is it uh, well our farms run nationwide but we only grow willow on three of them now right Nottinghamshire and Blink, uh, Yorkshire we're in now aren't we and uh, the, the Strawson's business what else is there to that as well the Strawson's business basically started in farming but has developed a major property firm so there is a lot of the property side going along. Right. But we are farming from Surrey up to Cumbria in house. Yeah. So on to the forager then. Obviously like we said it's got one or two differences to your standard forager so just talk us through some of those sort of like from front to back. So basically, obviously, biomass header we were running, which New Holland, as I say, New Holland made their cells. From there, with all the liners are hard ox liners, yeah. so they're uprated liners. From that, we're on a two times ten drum, which has now been half knifed. Right. So technically, it's a two times five with blanks in where the other knives used to sit. Yeah. That gives us a chop length up to 55 millimeters. Right. Which currently we're cutting chip at 40 millimeters yeah. for a customer. We try to cut and keep the header speed, which are the saw discs. Yeah. Try to keep that as close to 3000 RPM as possible. So that's two massive saw blades, is it? Yes, they're 760 in diameter. So from there, basically the feed rolls are standard. We are on the heavy duty 
gearbox on the right hand side rather than a standard yeah. and everything from the chopper the blower standard and basically everything else of the machine is standard with the extra hard ox liners yeah. which I think are now a standard on the FR range anyway all right and then you've got a little bit of protection here and there with the sort of bars all the way around as well all the bar work we've learned through our other machines and basically we keep improving every year yeah. there's always something we're playing with we yeah. never stand still because at the end of the day I want a foolproof machine yeah because there's one sat on the seat <laughs> I see you've got some cameras there just monitoring what's going on. Yeah, basically we've got spout camera, which is not the standard New Holland. Then the most important camera we've got on it is the saw discs. So that's looking inside the I can't, there. Yeah, so basically that tells me if I get a blockage there before the machine tells me. Yeah, well, that's it from up here, you can't see what's going on in there. No, can you, you can't see anything. And then we have two cameras for reversing, which are on the split screen. And yeah. If you can get right, you can get them joined up to be one screen. The most important thing about the way I harvest, I always turn around at the top end and come back the next row. Yeah. So I'm doing a lot more reversing than your normal foraging. Well, I'm going to say, because like when, when you're in a grass harvest, you've got lots of room to play with, you can pick your room do what you want really but with this you kind of you have to go exactly where the crop is and you can only go up and down as well yeah the vis visibility is a challenge especially at night time if you can see what's behind you there's no mistakes yeah we have a lot of dikes and a lot of power lines on this particular farm so you want to know where they are as well as the tractor drivers in terms of the actual plant itself what sort of diameter is the store 